So once you are in the new Model S and you'd like to drive, you can put your foot on the brake and then you get this different gear selector option where you can either slide up, you show the directional forward, that's for drive, intuitively so, and then all the way down would be reverse. You'll get your backup cameras showing you the rear and then left or right view. You're also able to hide those side views and you get a really amazing backup camera. I generally prefer to have a left and right view. The screen's big enough, you can see everything. And these can really help with curbs and other kind of tight circumstances and a tap for park. You also have these buttons in the event that the touch screen were having an issue. You have physical taptic buttons with park, reverse, neutral, drive, as well as your hazards. I imagine those kind of fade out um, when they're not activated anymore. Pretty straightforward. You can get pretty used to that uh, fairly easily. And then you do have another um, option where the vehicle can automatically detect gear changes. And that I believe is in one of the other settings. Let's see if that's in autopilot, not an autopilot, pedals and steering, auto shift out of park beta. So with that one, it uses the cameras and previous information to determine what gear uh, you might want to be in. It's in beta, so it doesn't work all the time. But I think that'll improve over time and be pretty neat to not even have to use the gear selector.